So, we have looted all the stuff on the ground that I know of. We didn't have anything up there with those archers, which is kind of disappointing. And I don't see any more spots on the ground. I have quick saved, just to be on the uh, safe side. And we are going to go ahead and grab this up here on screen, because I actually haven't... I don't know what's in it. So, let's see. We've got Scroll of Grease and a bunch of just junk. That's fine. He's actually getting a little bit encumbered there. He's a quarter full, which is saying something. So, yeah. I think this is an alternate path in. Like, we could pop out somewhere from there. I'm just not entirely sure. That doesn't look right. It's a drain. What's wrong about that? Yes, but inside a building. Or maybe the roof leaks. Maybe this was a stock shed. A drain can be handy for mucking out. That one's big enough for a cow to fall down. Doesn't make sense. Unless... I swear, if you say something clever... I never say anything that's not. But think about it. It's big enough to climb down. It's hidden in a building, and it's close to both the walls and the keep. Are you saying it's a secret entrance? A secret? Is this a secret entrance into here, or is it a secret entrance? I'm going to check. I always forget which one goes where, but we're going to go ahead and proceed. I know we have some ghouls up there that we still have to fight, and we actually have a second wave of skeletons to fight, but... I'm not going to be too bothered either way about them. Because we should be able to rest on our way out. Hopefully. If we even have to come out. So did this take... It took us inside, okay. So the ghouls were the other way through. So I might not actually deal with those ghouls. We might actually just deal with this place. If we come back out some way, we'll deal with it then. So what are you? We've got a deep pain arrow, which we'll just read. Yep, and we got another revivify scroll, which will go down to our revivify person, who currently has four of them. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need those. We're, we're, we're going a bit stronger than the enemy currently. So, there is an item there as well. You can go grab that. He's extra zoomy right now, so I might as well. Because he's got Expeditious Retreat. What did that open? What? Oh, that's the door down there. I heard something open. Ah, it was that. Okay. So, that's how you're supposed to get in if you can't pick that lock. So F5, I'm still going to pick the lock just for the sake of picking the lock. And pause. And you, actually no. I am going to have you cast your fireball. On the zombies. Yeah, are we actually going to cast it is the question. There's the fireball. A good kill, as they say. <laughs> Redundantly dead. We are going to have to go outside and rest. But might as well clear these guys out first. And turn. You are going to go here. And stealth up. Actually, no. You are going to ready range attack. We killed pretty much all of them except for two zombies. So that's that's a non-threat. You are going to just ready a ranged attack as well. And yeah, we're just going to stay back. They're going to come towards us on the next turn. We're just going to have everything readied. So yeah, we'll just range attack them to death as they come through and be happy. Ready range attack. I do find it sad that I can't ready a proper spell. I would love to ready a fire, Paul. That would be awesome. Bonk. More coming your way. 
Here comes bonk number two. And bonk number three. And now we can just ready to some more. The only one that doesn't get a ready another one is the mage. So this guy might not get close enough to trigger us, actually, now that I think about it. That no, we got a longbow feel. shot on him. Apparently we got a critical hit on him, too. So you are going to... Oh, you don't have line of sight on him. Abort. Can you get line of sight on him? Yes. Go for it. Oh, I thought it was... For some reason, I thought we were on our mage. So we probably do actually have line of sight on him on him. We do! Yep. <laughs> well, that was a miss, but we, we had line of sight on him. We had it. You do as well, so go for double longbow. And maybe actually get the kill on him? Not move. There you go. And turn, and you do not have line of sight. Now you do. As a stealthy. Unhide, of course. It doesn't take an action to actually unhide, thankfully. Oop. Lucky. Perhaps. So we've we've started the fight here. We are going to go ahead and grab this. We are going to take a rest after grabbing their loot. So Peter, you're going to loot all. I think, yeah, we just got some darts off of that. Which is not a bad thing. We can always use more ranged. So loot all there. I just happen to know that this place is going to be a jam-packed. So we do want to take it a little bit easy. And the fact that we came in here before resting up kind of leaves us in a little bit of a worse situation. Because we did waste basically fighting the entire external garrison. Um, And hey, Riss, how's it going? And it is going fairly well. We ran into a little bit of jank, but other than that, we've been nuking things with fireballs. We play like mages. We play like men. We play like mages. And if you go up to the front door, all it does is say, uh, we can't get in there because there's a barrier, and then you get attacked. So I'm going to come out here. I'm going to actually rest at this fire. We did a minor battle, a major battle, a second wave of said major battle, and then beat up some zombies. Which worked out pretty good. So rest up, you guys. Start a long rest. Yeah, setting up camp for 16 hours. We're just wasting days out here. I'm glad there's not a day time limit. I'm also playing a fighter. I'm not just playing a mage. He's a fighter mage. We got spell sword. We've got a cleric with giant fireballs. We've got a mage with giant fireballs. And we've got a thief with no fireballs, but she throws phantasmal daggers. So start our long rest. <laughs> So yes, I'm playing four mages, basically. Mages with um, skills. So you... I think we actually do keep this. Although protection from evil might actually be kind of useful in our current situation. So get rid of spiritual weapon, maybe. I wish I could get rid of the fireball flaming sphere, but I can't. It's part of our domain. I'm going to go with... Hmm, this is a concentration, is it not? Yeah, it is a concentration spell. Hmm. Could also do silence. How long does that take to cast? I think it's a... Yeah, it's an action. Yeah, we'll go with silence, because I know that there's mages down here. And you don't have nearly as many spells, but they're a lot more useful. Wind wall was semi-useful, but I don't think it's going to be useful down here. Fly is just our utility thing. So I think we go with... Actually, do we do haste? I think we do haste. Yeah, we do haste. Instead of wind wall. Instead of wonder wall. 
Oh yeah, uh, you actually missed me getting annoyed at um, them getting stuck between my balls. So, <laughs> yes, that sounds as bad as it is. We literally had two um, floating orbs of fire, and for some reason they just... The enemy wasn't taking any damage from them. That was part of the jank I was mentioning. So we're leaving the current area. We're going downstairs. We got fireball, fireball, not quite fireball, and exceptionally big fireball. But the spell sword, the actual, like, mage warrior guy, I oddly enough don't do a lot. Oh, both. Definitely both. Actually, it would be metaphysically <laughs> instead of metaphorically. Okay, so cautious. Let's go ahead and move this way. Just check out the area. Make sure there's nothing lootable before we start doing stupid... Oh, there is something up here. Yeah, there's 100% something up there. So, thief, go. I think this is going to open that, or is this just another container one? It might just be another container. It is! We got Heartstone. The hardest of stones. Mined from the core of a mountain in the Badlands, it has magical properties. Sure, let's just craft items. Yeah, this would be the second stone. You get the crown, and then you basically get given a stone. And then you get... Oh, yep, there's what we're looking for. But I'm looking forward to whenever we get past the stuff that we saw in early access. Ooh, encrypted spell book. Lazara's journal. Or was that one? How many pages is this? Just two? She just, she's not a big journal keeper, apparently. But, yeah, basically, if I remember correctly... Yeah, she talks about the dwarf, freeing people, all that kind of stuff. Yep. Oh, we already nuked a batch of zombies. We're going to be fighting more. Don't... I, I, I don't doubt that one. So you guys are going to go there. How did they... Oh, they climbed up the box. Okay. Okay, as far as what we're going to be doing in here, we just need to open that door and proceed on. So, let's get up here. Dwarf there. Cleric there. Just getting our usual setup. Mage there. Thief, open door. And pause, attack, that. And now we're dealing with dark apprentices who now have green eyes. Before they were just hooded figures. And we succeeded at staying hidden, get back behind the wall. And actually we'll probably end up moving her up here. But not quite yet. That way we can shoot anything that tries to come through the door. End turn. You do not have line of sight on that. You do there. Do we do spell? I think we do spell. I think we might actually do dancing lights. Yeah, we'll do dancing lights. Get that out there so we actually have some light going on. back up just a little bit and those should I think we're gonna go ahead and move it there just so we see anything coming through and turn because he should have dark vision which will let him shoot from yeah wherever still oh no actually no he's out of dark vision range and he's gonna get spotted possibly we somehow stayed stealthy with a 9. What was his perception check? DC 9, yeah. We, we, we had a 9 on that. 
Another shot on zombie. There's a zombie dead. And enter. Are they going to actually figure out where we're at? I don't think so. Uh, just ready a range attack. Because they're going to get some moves before you do. So I think they're all up in this area. I could be wrong. Let's go ahead and check there. You're going to scout. If you see them, you're just going to dash away. I see one there. I'm curious where the uh, zombie is. So there's the zombie. There's the Dark Apprentice. This is so cheating. But anyway. So dash to there. And you can't see through this, I don't think. No, you can't. So cunning action, another dash to there. And enter. Since they're a bit further back, we are going to move these back to where they were. And yeah, just ready a uh, range attack. And you are going to do it as well. If, if they spot anybody, I don't mind if they spot the warrior. Because that means they're going to favor going after him for about a turn. So, yep, we, we've spotted him. Bonk, nine. Did he spot us? Running through that. So, down to two. He hasn't spotted us. Oh, they're all bunched up. I've got to resist the urge to fireball. That is... I, I've got to resist the urge to fireball. I know, wow. I know. Nice miss there. Oh, God. Uh, go ahead and run. You know what? You're not going to run. Engage them. <laughs> you 19 defense fool. Oh, the other one's running away. What is he casting? He failed with chill touch. So we've got to like just manually walk you around here. So cunning action dash to there. Or th let's rotate this around. There we go. We want to be able to see both of them. And get a sneak attack on you. That works. Dead is dead. You are going to... Oh, yeah, you have advantage because you're still hidden. Sweet. That works. He's going to get spotted. Nope. Dancing lights. Go ahead and move up here because that's where this guy is. Hi, guy. We've spotted you. And you get to go to there because we want to get you up closer so you can actually fight the other guy. And turn. Can you actually see this other one? No. He's too far away to be perceived. But we can do this guy. Difficulty 7, that's fine. Now dead. Let's go ahead and run up. So we've got it down to just one Dark Apprentice now. So action surge. Rah! That gives us two more attacks. If we actually had the ability to do that. So you're going to do Expeditious Retreat. Which gives you a dash move. Which is sad because I've actually been using it more offensively than defensively. Just to get him into position to shoot things in the face. Oh, this is a rest spot here. We didn't even actually... Mm, never mind. At least I think that's a rest spot. And another shot. Boom. Yes, down to three life. Of course you've been detected. And turn. And yeah, you should be able to just move up and nuke this guy. So I'm going to go with... 
That's a wisdom save. Yeah, no, that's a dex save. I don't think these guys have good dex. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's only a plus one. I don't think they even got to shoot us once, did they? We murdered them. Okay. So, of course, we quick save after that. 250 XP? absolutely frickin' lootly will save. A bunch of junk there. And it's very... It, it throws me off a bit. That... They changed the bolt graphic on me. So it's like, hmm. Throws me off. Advanced studies in necromancy. Sweet. We still have dancing lights. So dancing lights. Go ahead and move down there. <laughs> oh, do they, go, do they go out if we lose line of sight on them? Yes. Okay, so they have to stay in line of sight. So, check the books. Elements of Oroth. The Experiments of Oralithus. Principles of Animation by Neolus Falami? Falamil? Flamel? By Mr. Flannel? Dual daggers. So, he he's a man after my heart with the dual daggers. And the only reason I don't have dual daggers on my um, wizard is actually so I can cast in melee, too. We've got a love poem and a potion, unidentified. It's a healing potion. I can tell you that right now. Moonlight drizzled from your armor. One room face to face, our eyes met. Art said sloppy as you draw near. No man has shared you as I have. Both our hands collide as well as our lips. The stars find sparks floating around a grasp. What? <laughs> that doesn't feel like... That doesn't feel like anything. Oh yeah, we have that loot down there. Let's grab it real quick. And remarkable arrows. Those are going to be arrows plus one, I think. I do find it hilarious. We could actually just do... Let's select everybody. Going to move up here. I'm pretty sure we can just sit here for however long we want casting identify on stuff. And it's just going to be fine. But I will identify that potion and I will identify a couple other things real quick. Wish I could just identify everything all at once, but alas, my ass, I cannot. So that's crossbow bolt. Where's the remarkable arrows? I thought he picked up remarkable arrows. Hmm. Did somebody else pick them up? Oh, you picked them up. That. I had the cleric doing it again. Perhaps if you try to be loud instead. <laughs> well, yeah, you're casting a ritual. It's going to mean you become unhidden. And the other thing that you found was what? The potion. Nothing else was exceptional, right? Right. Yeah, it, generally it'll tell you exceptional or something like that if it's something important. So let's go ahead. F5. F5. We will rest at these, I think. Oh, we can loot from that one. Which is golden rations. Sure. So we rest at this. We res we have not used any spells. So I'm actually not going to rest at that one. Or did we? Did we use spells? I, We might have. Yeah, we used Expeditious Retreat. That's nothing. The one I'm worried about having used spells on was you. No, you're fine. Yeah, the only one we used actual spells on was the dwarf. Everybody else still has all their crap. So, stealth up. Or as stealthy as we can get with two people clanking around in heavy armor. Start moving on in. So, in we go. We see them over there. I think there's one up there, too. Yeah, there is. Game pause. So, yeah, there's a guy right there. There's two zombies over there. I think we go for you. And he's outside of range. 
So you go there. And I think what we want to do is have you be up front. You go... Th no. Go there. And you go there. So we actually have that going on. And then you attack... And we have just a bunch of zombies sitting over there. That's fine. So they're all stuck off in that corner over there. We should have two Dark Apprentices if I remember correctly. Yeah, two Dark Apprentices. Bonk. You might get spotted. It's fine. You did not. <laughs> you, you succeeded exceptionally well. So keep shooting him. I should have taken actually a short rest since I used my action surge already, I think, didn't I? Kill. Yeah. And switch to that and turn. Go ahead and you can pop. Oh, you are out of range to pop that guy. There you go. You can move up one and pop that guy. And with plus eight, you actually succeeded surprisingly. So that guy knows where you're at, but he doesn't have a line of sight to you. So end turn. He might try to hop down here. But I'm not certain about that. Let's firebolt. Do we actually have any lanterns? Yeah, just ones that are like out of line of sight. Um, actually, can you hit that one? No. That's no, that's on the side of the wall. Okay. Abort that, come out here. Let's start lighting crap up. Cast spell, please. Firebolt. Get that lit up. Then back off. Because that will at least give us light if the site starts to coming down the stairs. So intern. So they all have a surprise round. You... Do have line of sight on that guy. I think he's going to be considered full cover, though. No, we can see him, but we can't shoot him. So I think we do a sacred flame. There. Oh, he succeeded. He still took some damage from it, but only half. So we're going to duck back in here and turn. So their surprise round is over, and now we actually have to fight. So let's switch back to the bow. And we'll shoot at you. He's in darkness, unfortunately, but... Don't lose hope. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and get some cover there. Yeah, he's... We just don't have a clean shot on anything. Okay, let's see. We'll do another expeditious retreat. Get ourselves that dash going. There's a lot of stuff over here, so he might be in trouble if he gets into a real fight here. But I'm going to send him off that way. So that these things can start trying to come towards him, rather than coming towards our main group. Even if he misses there, Next it's fine. Time. End turn. Ready a range attack. He's going to do a chill touch, probably. Disadvantage because of range, which is good for us. Run up here. Let's go ahead and start beating the crap out of this guy with mage power. And these guys have 22 life. That's not going to be... This is not going to be enough to kill them. Unfortunately. So I think this is going to be 1d10. This is 1d8 plus 4. I think we go with the a crossbow. Just a straight roll. Hit him in the face. And he didn't spot us because we are so far away. So end turn. And these guys will just run towards us. 
They might get in range to spot us on... No. I don't think that's going to get close enough to spot us. They're going after the dwarf. Yeah, they won't get close enough to spot us with that. They might spot us with us shooting them, but at the same time, it's not the worst thing ever. Yes, strike. So let's see. You can go there and you'll have line of sight on this guy to possibly try to get him. Next turn. End turn. Yeah, they're just going after Dwarf because that's the only one they know where it is. And because he's so far away, they are getting disadvantage on their spell attacks. So time for the hugs. Bang. Time for another hug. Um. Oh, we, we have a second hit with that? Sure. I'm willing to swing as many times with that hammer as you'll let me. A good kill, as they say. Stabby stabby again. Nice. In turn, so if he tries to come after anybody over here, it's fine. Yeah, you keep attacking. Nice crit. Please, yes, lethal. Um, yeah, move there. So now it's just the two mages. If we move this guy out of line of sight, we can set up an ambush. He's going to try again. Disadvantage, critical fail. And let's see. We do have just a straight roll for shooting at him. He does have partial cover, but that's fine. And since we're too far away, he can't actually spot us. ha 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 ha. Keep at it. So, yeah. He has to spot us to be able to... We have to be within visual, like, perceptive range, basically. For him to get that kind of stuff on us. And that was a fail. And we'll just start going after him with the bow. 20 plus 0. Ha ha ha! Another one. Eh, close enough. He doesn't have good dex mods, but he can still do some damage with his bow if he rolls well. And turn. You do not have line of sight on this guy. If you move... There? Why do you not have a sight line on him? Because they do. Okay, you can get a sight line there. Get a sight line there. So I'm going to have you move this way. We got our nice pile of bodies there. And we do actually have advantage on that one. Sweet. So we just murdered them without a second thought. That's always fun. Who are you? What do you want? Hmm... Nah, we'll There's destroy no them. They're necromancers. The they deserve it. Necromancy isn't a crime. I don't believe it. More apprentice. Oh, more zombies too. And they get first round. No. Okay. Let's do this the proper way. Smashy, smashy first. Ah! Got you. Another smashy smashy. And yes, we are just going to beat the living tar out of Lizaria of Grimhold. I wish we had another action surge, but we do not. But we can move there. And hostiles. Yeah, we are going to... Vampire touch. Yeah, counter it. Yes, attack. Ah! You like it? And is she going to leave range with us? Nope. We can't counter with him because he A, had a ranged weapon, and B, <laughs> was doing... Um, he did a counter spell that turn, so we already used, burned our reaction. So zombies are moving up. You have dagger mode. Ah! 
So that kills you. Perhaps. And let's see. You could go after these guys up here. We're going to burn spells on this. But I think we want you to just go straight in on this one. And start yeah. dealing with them. So they're going to get a zombie turn. Going to be another guy running up. Cast spell. Let's see. Fireball is... That... Oh, it's just a little bit off. If we could actually cast it there without hitting anybody, that'd be perfect. Uh, how about up there? We could get a Dark Apprentice. But that's not really ideal. We have more Zombles that way. Honestly, I think we just... Ah, abort that. Cast spell. Let's go for... You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do Fireball. We used up our counter spell, but we used it for a good cause to keep the main big bad from healing. Go to hell. So both of them get to die. We'll go ahead and run up next to you and switch to the dagger. Of doom. And turn. That way if this guy tries to run away, he's going to get wrecked. And yes, he actually has better AC without armor on right now. So you... Do not have a way to hit both those guys. So let's see. Cast spell. You still have two fireballs left. Abort that. And we'll go like this. I think we might be able to get that guy in a fireball. Yes, we can. Eat fireballs. Hey, that was mine. <laughs> yep, go ahead and get into cover. You know what solves large masses of enemies, right? Ow. Fireballs. Oh, you bastard. Was that an acid arrow? No, that was acidified. Okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, that was acid arrow. Takes acid damage. What does acidified do? Takes acid each... Oh, God. So we're going to be taking acid damage every single turn. Spell-wise, I think we literally just go running up there. Use cast spell. Oh, do, we don't have the free hand to do it. Or do we already have it on us? We do not. So what do we do? I think we just shoot at him. Uh, again, harder. Yes, we will shoot at you again. That one was a freaking miss. Cast spell, expeditious retreat. And get up there. Yep. Just charging into battle. Hi, guys. You just shot me with an acid arrow. I'm going to make you have a bad ah. day. So you guys are just going to go stabby stabby mode. Yeah. Sneak attack gets you a little bit of extra there. Regular stab. Go on. The dead is actually dead again. And all that loot on the ground. Just insane. And turn. Yes, we intentionally are switching to bow. Cuz they are all ranged up there. So, cast spell, do you actually have any more fireballs? You do not, but you do have this at level two. Which means one less Dark Apprentice, I think. Or at least a lot of damage in on him. Impressive move, my friend. <laughs> Magic missile's great. End turn. Then you. Can you get line of sight on that guy from down here? Yes, you can. Just have to be able to see ya. Because we have a level 3 magic missile, which shoots another one. Which may be enough to lethal. Not quite. But it's enough to make him question his life choices. 
Ouch. Okay. You wanted to do this the hard way. Well, we're gonna do it the hard way. Actually, we don't even need to a dash. We'll just get right up in your business and show you what for. With our four attacks. Everybody's dead. Ouch. Uh, loot all. Okay, so we've looted everything up there. We will come back up for some of that stuff. Definitely want to save after that, though, because we do need to rest, and then we need to go deeper into the aforementioned castle. I do wish there was just a loot all button, but unfortunately, it's just loot all in an area. So that is all that junk. We do have a couple things to read first. And he has gotten a lot of darts. I'm actually surprised that they've increased... It seems like they've increased the number of darts. That they've decided... Are going to be available. So grab that. And that's just going to be Brimstone Fang. That's actually going to go on on you. Because we need to start using poison attacks on you. We need to make you a proper rogue. So that's that loot there. We do have this one too. Did we have not have any books around here? It doesn't look like it. That's going to go on you as well. And let's see. I, yeah, I don't see any more books out here. Oh, we got one right there, and we've also got that. Okay. I was about to say, we have the stuff up here, but... Go loot these. That's probably just going to tell us, A, this is another book. Yada, yada, yada. Yakety smackety. Uh, Principles of Animation by Nicholas Flamil. I think we already saw that one before. And loot some more money. Definitely quick save. Now we long rest. Because guess what? We're about to have some fun battles. If this is the same as before. So, yes, perform the long rest. It only took us an hour or something to actually come down here. 